Okay, so now that we've finished uh, setting up our core folder in AI Worker, we're going to move on to our services folder. Okay, so underneath services in AI Worker, I'm going to add a new file. And the first uh, service we'll add is kind of like a helper. Um, again, it could go into the core as well. Uh, you know, it's up to you. Um, but uh, here's where we grab our OpenAI client and start to utilize OpenAI's API. So I'm going to name this file OpenAI client.py. Okay. So here I'm going to um, import from OpenAI, OpenAI. Okay. And then we're going to need our settings as well. All right. So that's probably going to be for our OpenAI key. Uh, and then go ahead and grab uh, import settings. Okay. So first we'll define our client here. So we'll say OpenAI, uh, again, set a default here. OK. And we'll have one method here, very simple. We'll say get OpenAI. OK. And this should return OpenAI object. All right. So global client. OK. Uh, if client is none. All right. Again, check the settings. All right. There's, there's no key set. Uh, open API key. Okay, then we'll just raise uh, raise an exception. So runtime error, and we'll just say open AI API key not set. Okay. Now if it is there, so we'll just say client equals. We'll use the Open AI library here, and we'll set the API key. These are the params that it requires. So settings dot open API key. Easy, right? Um, and then, boom, we just return the client. OK, so now any any library in our AI worker now can grab a hold of OpenAI, make calls you know, for embeddings, uh, chat, uh, images, video, you name it. All right, so this is our OpenAI client helper.